Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, March 22nd, 2019. So my goodness, yesterday, what an incredible rally. We had a really amazing broad-based rally, creating lots of good positive feelings in the market, but did it really change anything? Well, a couple indexes, not so much couple indexes were doing really really well so first off let's take a look at the diamonds here diamonds beautiful bullish engulfing candle yesterday actually creating uh, this opportunity where we have right there um, resumption of trend there's that first lower high after this pullback that broke support unfortunately it didn't resolve all the problems first we have this resistance that's still in play and if you notice closely that is still a lower high and this morning we're looking at a bit of a gap down this morning in the market there were there was um economic data um, out of europe disappointed the market suggesting this whole idea of global uh, growth um, it, it continues to raise its ugly head you know it, every once in a while we get one of those news reports that's uh, indicating things are slowing down and um, so this morning the diamonds are looking for a gap down of more than 100 points at least at the moment so we're going to take back a good portion of that bullish candle uh, this morning now as long as that doesn't get much worse than that we're okay but if we were to actually reverse this candle, then things would not be good at all. So watch the low of that candle right there. If we were to uh, push low enough to break down through there, uh, things could get pretty ugly pretty quickly. So let's watch that closely today. So just keep in mind that resistance is still in play and we do have the opportunity for that higher low to, to resume a rally if the bulls can hold on do their job here um, in defending uh, that low this low will have to be defended all right let's take a look at the spy real quick SPY SPY looking really really good and this is one of those that re kind of resolved its problems um, banging into some resistance levels up here but as you can see huge bullish engulfing candle a little pullback today not going to harm this chart at all. So um, SPY, the bigger index, looking very, very strong here. And once again, there's that higher low in here, giving us that opportunity to resume this uptrend and continue looking very, very good here in uh, the SPY chart. So we have a little bit of a problem in the diamonds, no problem here in the SPY and a little pullback is not damaging unless again, unless we were to pull back substantially and break this low, then we would have a problem. But at this point, that doesn't seem to be the case. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs also very, very strong yesterday, just ripping the uh, cover off the ball. They hit this thing so hard yesterday. Now we have the issue where we're up basically 11 days in a row um, in the NASDAQ and we're pushing against some price resistance here. So a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback, should not be a major surprise here and certainly the nasdaq is leading the market uh very very strong right now a little pullback here won't hurt us at all and even though we're showing a gap down this morning um here in the nasdaq uh, i certainly wouldn't be overly worried about that looking really really good and then we have the problematic iwm iwm once again just like the dow we have this little rising low here but doggone it, we cannot ignore that lower high just yet. And with the gap down this morning, um, once again, if that were to pull us back and lose this, the low of that candle, then we could be in some real trouble. But if it holds, if we can get the uh, index to hold anywhere above this trend line, everything should be good. A little pullback like that 
and we are in good shape. So we could have a little bit of problematic places that we have to pay attention to. Resistance is still in force. We still have to recognize and respect resistance. That one day candle does not change anything um, as far as having to break through those resistance levels. So watch that in the chart. Let's take a look at the VIX. One thing I thought was interesting yesterday with such a broad-based rally that the VIX uh, really didn't respond um, in a negative way like you would expect. It certainly did pull back finally um, as the market rally continued to move, but kind of surprising that it didn't pull back more. So it might be a little bit of a clue that there is some fear in there, that a little bit of worry, um, and I suspect that VIX will, will push up again this morning. So let's watch that closely. Um, I don't know if it'll give us any really good clues here, but I think maybe a little bit of fear might be creeping in, just the fact that we need a little rest or pullback in the market um, after such a uh, tremendous run. Just a little relaxing um, of that buying pressure. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio, and you can see Man, lots of whipsawing in here um, in this market, just back and forth, back and forth. But as you can see, T2122 doesn't really give us any indicator uh, when we're in this um, mid-range as to direction. All it does is show us that we have plenty of room yet to move to the upside. And we've opened up a big window to the downside. So we've we've got plenty of room to go um, either direction in that chart and that's really all t21 22 is showing us at the moment not giving us any really good clues let's um, take a look at the diamonds whoops didn't really want to take a look at the diamonds but I want to take a look at the economic calendar the economic calendar this morning we do have something on the calendar that could you know really help or it could really hurt us right now the consensus for the existing home sales is to show an improvement in home sales existing home sales have been just a little bit problematic over the last couple of reports but um, consensus right now is suggesting that we're going to see a bump up um, in those home sales that could certainly help the overall market sentiment if we do get a good number here on existing home sales however the opposite is true if they were to uh, if that number were to miss that consensus estimate that would certainly add to that growth fear I think in the market we could see um, that create some more selling so watch that number right there around 10 a.m. Eastern time. Keep in mind we have the PMI flash and we have wholesale numbers and the Baker Hughes rig count and the treasury budget, but I don't expect any of those to really move the market around. Uh, just that existing home sales. Also keep in mind we've got some Fed speaking going on here in this weekend. So watch that. All righty. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button there on YouTube and click that, I, that bell icon as well. The bell icon makes sure that you get notified when I post one of these videos. And nearly 500 videos now on YouTube. And I want to thank everyone for helping the channel grow by clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving comments you know you don't have to leave a big comment but every, every little bit helps and um, when you support the channel that way um, the algorithm shows the video to more folks and we um, are able to grow and help more people now the whole purpose of these videos is to just help tra traders do a better job in their preparation for the day a little bit um, uh, forward thinking on how you should approach the market for today so this morning we're looking at that approach being just a little bit cautious because the market is gapping down we have some um, really good index charts um, in the spy and the queues that uh, show us really no worry 
at all. And then we've got the diamonds and IWM giving us a little bit of a concern, um, raising that caution level just a little bit. So as you approach the weekend, think about those things and think about how much risk you want to hold into the weekend um, with those kind of elements out there circulating around. Let's um, take a look here at uh, some charts that um, could be setting up. Now, one of the charts that um, I have mentioned before is Pan W. Pan W actually triggering that alert um, two days ago. And you can see moving on through that alert looking really, really good. Like that chart quite a bit. I think Pan W has more upside potential. Now I realize this is more expensive, but very nice looking chart and one you might want to put on your list. GDDY was one that I mentioned the other day. It, it was actually someone, um, one of the members brought this up. Uh, from Rightway Options, this chart, and um, I placed an alert on that. That alert triggered um, and it looked looks really, really good. Now, we do have price resistance up here to worry about, but GDDY might be uh, one that you want to place on your list. Looking uh, very, very good here and one to pay attention to. Um, you might also want to take a look at JD. Now, JD is going to have the issues with um, you know any US-China trade talk, but JD is also setting up, recovering really nicely, nice bullish candle yesterday. Now, don't be at all surprised with the trend out here, and, and you'll see me talk about this a lot. With the trend here, don't be all that surprised to see that continue to move over toward that trend before this really has an opportunity to go. But that is a really nice looking chart. Could um, really set up very, very well for those trades. As you guys know, I've been mentioning STX to keep an eye on STX. And boy, that thing went like a rocket shot yesterday, popping up hard here on that move. Now, any rest or pullback, I would not chase this candle. But any rest or pullback, and I think we'll get some, a little rest or pullback that moves us back down into this area um, could really give us a great opportunity to enter that trade. And on the same side, take a look at WDC. WDC, a beautiful chart yesterday, just ripping the cover off that ball. Um, a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback in here. And um, that could set itself up for a really nice um, entry into a trade. So keep an eye on that one. Last but not least, take a look at EA. EA, what an impressive move yesterday. Looked like we were going to fail that trend. Buyers stepped up in a really big way, um, pounded in this thing really hard. So any little rest or pullback in here, if this can just give a couple, three days of consideration, consolidation or rest that might be ready for an entry um, for some nice upside so keep an eye on EA so everyone I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you a great weekend it has been a fantastic week of profits for us here at Rightway Options so a little rest a little pullback in the market shouldn't be that disheartening um, we might see um, a little bit of pullback in some of these trades but boy i gotta tell you um, we have just really uh, been very fortunate in uh, the choices that we've made here on these trades and looking really really good so anyone in rwo congratulations this week it's been a great week uh, a little bit of rest a little bit of pullback on a friday taking some profits moving into the weekend uh, not a big surprise and certainly we should be very happy with our results so let's keep an eye on things really closely maybe relax a little bit today um, put your feet up watch the show and um not worry too much about uh, chasing into new trades. Let's let this market settle just a little bit and give a little bit of rest. As long as we hold those higher lows, we have more upside potential in those charts. So let's see if we can hold on to those. Um, and if that's the case, it could set up some really, really great entries for more 
upside in the market. Everyone have an awesome weekend. I wish you all the best. And for those of you out there struggling, just keep up that hard work. Trust me on this. It is worth it. I know, I know how hard it is and I know how frustrating it is. If we can be of help, let us know. Um, love to do what we can to help. Thanks everyone for all your participation in the channel and supporting the channel. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.